F-Secure has always been a solid contender when it comes to paid anti-malware programs. In fact, it has a pretty good track record in previous reviews. So let's see how it holds up in 2016. This is Leo, and you are watching the PC Security Channel. As usual, we are going to start by taking a look at the user interface. While they have retained the layout from the previous versions, there have been some visual changes. And honestly, I'm not entirely a huge fan of this new UI. I think it lacks kind of the charm that their older UI has. It's still very functional, has all the same features, similar settings options. But uh, now there's that kind of disparity between the outline of the application and the internals and uh, this check mark versus this big on button it just seems like there's no continuity but that's again a matter of preference so let's take a look at what it comes with as usual we have virus protection and deep guard which is their behavioral module by default it comes with these two options checked it warns you about suspicious behavior and about application exploits. Here we have the different virus databases. You can have uh, your scan scheduled. It does come with spam filtering and kind of an enhanced version of uh, Windows Firewall and some network protection features. So pretty standard stuff. The uh, components that will interest us the most is probably the browser protection and the deep guard. It'll also be interesting to see how their signatures deal with our malware pack. So as usual, before we get started, we're going to update the program. And it's pretty simple. Right click, check for updates. And as you can see, we have the latest signatures. Quick mention, I do like this right click menu, it seems pretty modern and uh, we have this nice gaming mode over here which you can quickly switch to and that is a welcome addition. Now that we have our guards ready, it's time for invasion. Here we have um, 8 malware URLs and they're fairly fresh, let's try them out and see what happens. Output.exe is our first uh, website and uh, unfortunately it does not output any result because it is blocked by F-Secure. So that's a good start. Let's try out the second URL. Program1g.exe. Let's go ahead and run it. Sounds legit. And immediately F-Secure has gotten rid of it. It says harmful file blocked and it asked me to restart the computer. Well I'm just gonna finish off the link test because we know there are more customers in store. So let's try the third link. Once again website is blocked. Web signature is doing a good job. File.exe once again it's blocked. Pretty honest name there. Here's the next URL. And it's flagged as harmful. Here's another one. This one seems to be loading and let's go ahead and run the file. It seems like it cannot be executed. Let's proceed. Word.exe it is blocked. Web filter once again. And the last one is uh, a piece of adware. Let's see what happens. Internet Explorer search and it is blocked too. So that was a pretty smooth link test. We didn't have any files execute. Let's take a look at the uh, processes nonetheless. I don't see anything suspicious, however, just for formality, I'm going to run a Hetman Pro scan and then we'll go to the second part, which is the file detection and removal. Hetman Pro hasn't found any threats, which was kind of expected, so now I'm going to reboot the system and continue. Interesting to see a Sophos Home ad over here in Hetman Pro. As you can see, we have temporarily disabled F-Secure's real-time protection and 
now we have some uninvited guests on the system. As you can see, there are 639 pieces of malware in this folder, and they're all ready to take over. So let's see what F-Secure can do about it. As usual, we're going to do our right-click context menu scan, and we'll see how many it can detect and remove. Keep in mind, the total figure is 639. The scan was fairly quick, but pretty heavy on the system. Now let's take a look at what it's found. It seems to classify threats in an interesting way now. As colorful as it may seem, this is probably not the best way to display detected threats. Anyway, I'm just going to go for um, the obvious option here, that is handle all. And it seems to be set to delete everything, so we should be good. Now let's see how long the removal takes. Seems to be going at an okay pace. The removal process is complete. The speed was moderate, somewhat similar to Bitdefender, which is no surprise really. For those of you who don't know, F-Secure uses multiple engines, one of which is Bitdefender. So now let's take a look at our folder. It seems we just have one item left, which translates to roughly 99.8%. What can I say? It is a truly impressive detection ratio. Based on the tests that I've conducted over the years, I would definitely say that F-Secure is one of the best when it comes to signatures. But we do have this lonely critter over here, which is anxious to hop in and uh, do its best to disrupt activities, although its friends are dead. So let's go ahead and run it. But let us re-enable the shields first. Fire's protection is turned on now. Everything's good. So let's go ahead and execute malware 44. Do not try this at home. The file seems to have ran. Or maybe it just died, because um, it was feeling too lonely. I don't know. Let's try running it again. Hmm, it does not seem to be doing anything, although malware is known to be deceptive. So I'm going to let the system run for a while, and then we're going to reboot the system and see what happened with our second opinion scanners. By the way, process monitor does not show any unusual activity. Now it's time for the final verdict. So here are the second opinion scanner results. Malwarebytes did not find anything. Zamana detects one piece of malware, Win32, and Hitman Pro has caught that one as well. It seems to be active in memory and it's called ebb.exe, which is a funny name. But what's not so funny is that this piece of malware does seem to be running. There you go. It was apparently missed by F-Secure and could be doing anything. We don't know. So yet another example of how even one missed sample can be a prick. As for F-Secure, I would say it did a pretty good job apart from that one sample. But once again, highlighting the need for strong zero-day protection. And I would strongly suggest F-Secure to add a more aggressive version of DeepGuard, at least have the option over here to warn more suspicious actions or to block more files. At the moment, it seems to be geared towards novice users. It's very easy to use and extremely automated, but a bit of user interaction wouldn't hurt, especially in exchange for better protection. I hope you enjoyed this review and be sure to give this video a like if you did. If you need an entirely automated product that does a really good job without an over aggressive zero day component, then this might be your product of choice. So check out F-Secure. It has been a pretty solid product. If you look at all the tests, it missed out a clean sheet on this one, but it's not a bad product by any means. Feel free to check out some of my other videos as well. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.